Okay, it is the 4th of March. It is uh, 1247 on the second leg of my steel hauling journey. I picked up a load of steel bar. I'm about ready to hop out and show you the load, but it's, uh, I don't know, it's about 18 degrees. So I'm trying to <laughs> cover as much as I can while I'm warm. Anyway. I'll get out here in a second and show you and uh, come back inside where it's warm so I can talk about it. <laughs> It's a, it's a solid bar from one end all the way to the other. There's no break in this, so it, it covers almost the entire trailer. Let's see if I can get it on this end. It's about, uh, yeah, so there are four bundles of steel bars. They're about, I don't know, two to three inches in diameter. They came on a preloaded trailer this time. And, uh, the thing that excites me about this particular uh, this load is its weight. It's uh, 48,500 and something pounds. So this, I think to date, is the heaviest load I've ever carried. And I like uh, the bigger the load, the better. I don't know, I, for some reason I like hauling heavy. But uh, I had to use two tarps. And uh, it went really, I think, efficiently. This was a, a preloaded trailer, so I had to swap out my last trailer for this one, and they're, they all belong to the company I drive for. The, uh, it was uh, already preloaded and had two belly wraps on it, right here, and the one on the front, and I just had to throw chains. So typically, when I'm covering a, I usually have six securements, because of the weight, and it's usually under 48,000. So I put on six, and that covers me up to 48,000. Well, today, I had to, uh, or today, yesterday, I had to put on seven, uh, seven securements, because it was over 48,000 pounds. So that was interesting. I, it went quick, and uh, at least I think it did. But it's over a 900 mile load, which I'm grateful for. And I think I live in like the ideal spot near St. Louis because there's the Interstate 44, I-55 and I-70 all run through like through St. Louis. So it, it is like the major artery for shipping, uh, for a lot of shipping anyway in the trucking industry. Here I am at, uh, West Terre Haute, uh, Vigo, Indiana truck stop. But anyway, started out yesterday and I covered uh, several hundred miles on my 900 mile journey and was able to uh, finish my day in Madison, Illinois, where I normally park my truck. And uh, which allowed me, based on the time, to go home for the night. So it was a uh, a nice little treat to be able to get home during the middle of the week. Uh, again, I just stayed the night and got to see my kids for a few hours and, and I left this morning. But I, I have a specific time to deliver this load, tomorrow, which is tomorrow morning uh, at 8 o'clock in, uh, in a town near Detroit, Michigan. So it should be chilly, but uh, anyway, I've only... I only had like nine hours to cover today, which is, um, which is fine. I, um, it allows me to take a little bit more time. Like I'm on my 30 minute break and I don't feel so stressed to leave like at the 30 minute point. I might actually take 40 minutes. <laughs> That's how relaxed I'm feeling. But, uh, yeah, I'll finish up about seven today and I'll have to find a, parking spot close to the where I'm delivering because they don't have parking at the cosignee and uh, 
So we'll uh, we'll plan that out and go from there. I I did discover something recently as I as I'm trying to show you this truck stop. Um, Maverick Transportation has a what I'd call a specialized division, which I wasn't. I think I knew about, but I d hadn't really thought about it until recently, because I talked with an individual that drove a double drop trailer that wasn't hauling glass. He actually hauls machinery from one of the east uh, eastern ports to you know wherever that equipment needs to go, or he's hauling equipment to the port, you know, like excavators and you know heavy haul type stuff and that's the kind of thing that interests me that's kind of the reason I got interested in flat bedding <laughs> so they're walking their dog little chihuahua that's the kind of thing that interests me is uh, heavy haul so I, I just uh, I was surprised I guess I surprised myself when I came in contact with the individual that that uh, that drives uh, that for Maverick and I was you know I had asked a few questions and uh, so for those of you out there that weren't aware not only does uh, Maverick uh, transportation do flat bedding and they train you to do it they also train you to do uh, to haul glass uh, they'll haul they'll train train you to haul temperature controlled products but uh, they have the specialized division and I'm gonna to have to I guess look into it ask some questions to see how people uh, get into that because someday down the road I may like to move in that direction and I have a feeling that it's not something I can just get into I'm sure it is location dependent um, sim it may not necessarily be a dedicated route but it may be similar to how the dedicated routes operate in the sense that uh, they primarily do a lot of their hauling um, in certain areas and I may not live in that area which would uh, if I wanted to pursue that require me to to move which I don't mind in the military I moved several times with my family and we're kinda used to it so I'm not against uh, uh, moving to new locations to better the life for my family and myself so anyway it is time to head to toward Detroit Michigan I know I won't I will I could drive to the shipper I have plenty of time not the shipper the the cosine where I'm dropping this off if I I could I have plenty of time to get there today but it's just it's a, a set appointment for tomorrow and they don't have parking so I'll have to find parking within proximity, close proximity, I'm hoping for to the cosine to make things a little bit more efficient in the morning. So also I've changed up my, I've gone, this is like my second week, just as a, a news flash. Um, I used to drink, drink, I wouldn't say gallons of Mountain Dew a day, <laughs> but I was, uh, I was heavy into Mountain Dew because I like Mountain Dew flavor. I don't like a lot of soda products. I particularly like Mountain Dew and my family can attest to that. Well this is my second week. I, I, I should get a chip that says I'm two weeks free of uh, Mountain Dew. <laughs> I've abstained for two weeks. Anyway, getting back on the road. <laughs>